So is Daniel Ricciardo the right man to replace Mark Webber at Red Bull in the near future? Well, I think Ricciardo's definitely got the potential to replace Mark Webber at Red Bull in the future. Um, but if he wants to do that, then Daniel's going to have to have a season where uh, he totally dominates his teammate, John Eric Byrne, and he also have to, has to finish in the points more regularly this season and have a much stronger season. Uh, I, didn't, I did feel sorry for him, actually, because I, I didn't think Toro Rosso gave him a good enough car last season, although, to be fair, uh, Toro Rosso had a much better second half of the season. Um, but on the other side of the coin, uh, John Eric Byrne, he'll also uh, want that Red Bull seat, and he'll also want to dominate Daniel. So that in-team battle at Toro Rosso is definitely going to be intriguing and one to keep an eye out for. Um, as for Daniel, I think he has definitely got the potential to replace Mark Webber at Red Bull, but he needs to finish the points consistently and regularly, um, and he needs to uh, dominate his team out this season. So, to reiterate, Daniel's got the potential, but he needs to have a much stronger season in 2013. I'd agree with you, Alex, um, with the fact that all the spotlight has been on Lewis Hamilton's move to Mercedes. Um, but for Nico Hülkenberg and him going to Sauber, I was a bit sceptical at the time when he, he announced that he was going to be a Sauber driver, um, where really I think Sauber and Force India are more or less neck and neck and are more or less at the same level in terms of being in the midfield. Um, but I do think Nico will do well. At Sauber, I think he will get the better of his uh, new teammate for this season, Esteban Gutierrez. And I can certainly see Nico uh, being in contention for podiums for sure. If Sauber can build on what they achieved last season, then I see no reason why Sauber and uh, Nico can at least challenge for podiums and possibly even um, a race win. So I think Nico Hulkenberg will do very well at Sauber. Um, but for, for me personally, I still can't un understand why he left Force India uh, to go to Sauber, where they're more or less at the same level, and they're both uh, in the midfield. So which of the rookies will be most under pressure to deliver this year? Um, well, I guess the name, I guess the rookie we're all going to be looking out for is uh, Valtteri Bottas at Williams. Uh, Valtteri is held in high regard at Williams and I actually thought he did a very good job in free practice uh, last season where he replaced Bruno Senna um, for most of the time in free practice last year. So I think Valtteri will do a good job this year and again like the uh, driver lineup of Toro Rosso for this season, I think the driver lineup of Williams, um, Maldonado and Bottas and the in-team battle, that's going to be really intriguing and I'm very much looking forward to seeing that as to who can uh, get on top of each other, so can Bottas beat Maldonado or will Maldonado, well, or, or will Maldonado beat uh, Bottas? Um, so I think Valtteri is the one under pressure um, out of all the rookies. I think Esteban Gutierrez as well, he'll be expected to deliver this year for Salva. Um, I think there's less pressure, uh, particularly on uh, Van der Garde and uh, Max Chilton at, uh, at, at what? Vanguard at Caterham and Chilton at Marussia. I think there's less pressure on them um, because their teams are not really expected to you know, gain amongst the midfield regularly. Although I hope they do gain in the midfield, um, but I think it could be a year's struggle for them. I hope they do prove them wrong. Um, so, yeah, I think overall the rookies, I'd have to say, um, Valtteri Bottas is the one that um, is under the most pressure to deliver this year. You know what, Melanie? I can certainly see Adrian Sutor surprising one or two people this year. And obviously, he wasn't in Formula One last season. Um, but in the preseason test at Barcelona, I thought he did a very good job considering he's you know, hasn't been in the car for a year. Um, so I can certainly see Sutor uh, doing well this season. He will be solid. I think he'll consistently perform well, and I think you know, he'll he'll be in the points regularly. I really do. Whether he can change for podiums on a regular basis, I'm not entirely sure, but I can certainly see Adrian doing a good, solid job for Force India, 
and I can see Force India doing very well in that midfield battle uh, between themselves, Williams, Sauber, Lotus and Mercedes. So I, I expect a, a good season from Adrian and I think he'll be a good solid driver for them and I think he'll put in some very good solid performances this year. Well Tim, if it was to rain in qualifying that would certainly spice things up. Um, I definitely, I, I can definitely see um, a mixed up grid if it was to rain in qualifying and I think it would be great as well if it was a mixed up grid rather than having the usual suspects uh, up front the likes of Red Bull, McLaren, Ferrari and if it does uh, rain in qualifying then I think it is a perfect opportunity for the midfield teams in particular to pounce. I really do, and you know, to see a midfield team uh, win the opening race, that that would be absolutely fantastic. So I'd love to see that happen. Um, so yeah, I think a mixed up grid would definitely um, spice things up in qualifying if it, if it, if it uh, if it did rain. So my predictions for the podium on Sunday. Uh, that's a that's a big question, Matthew. Um, uh, it, it's difficult. I mean, you you would expect the likes of Red Bull, McLaren, Ferrari, um, possibly the Lotus, you know, to be to be right up there. Um, but we rain predicted on Saturday, and potentially, you know, that could you know spice things up. Uh, it's it's difficult to say as to who will be on the podium. Nobody knows um, who's where, and I guess it's only qualifying if it was to stay dry, uh, where we get an idea as to who will be where. Uh, if I had to go with my heart, uh, if, I had to, uh, if I had to put my head on the chopping block, um, I'd have to say Jensen Button, because he always seems to perform well at Australia, and he's, I think he's won there last last couple of years, I think. He's, I know he won there last year, and also I know he won there for Braun as well, so I think Jensen uh, would end up on the podium. Um, I'd, I'd expect to see Sebastian Vettel on the podium and also Fernando Alonso. So I'd go with Jensen Button, Sebastian Vettel and um, Fernando Alonso uh, to be on the podium in Australia. But you, it's uh, for me it's difficult to say as to who will be on the podium. Um, we've still got that unpredictable element as to you know, what's going to happen in qualifying. Um, we don't know who's where in pecking order. Um, and it's just for me, it's just, it's just difficult to say as to uh, who will come out on top. So, from, so like I said, uh, if I had to go with my heart, I'd go with uh, Jensen Button, Sebastian Vettel, and uh, Fernando Alonso to be on the uh, to be on the podium in Australia. Don't forget, keep your questions coming in uh, for the next Ask Manish. Send them to at Baggies Twenty on Twitter, and uh, I look forward to reading them. But for now, cheerio.